this video, we're going to look at writing the equation of a circle. Uh, a circle is the set of all points that is an equal distance from some given point. Now, that given point is called the center, and the distance referred to is the length of the radius. And since distance is a very important word in that definition, we can use distance to help build an equation for the circle. The distance r is constant between this point x, y and the center of this circle, 0, 0. I chose for my first example to just have it centered at the origin uh, to make it a little bit more simple uh, to follow in the first problem. All right, so distance formula is x1, the square root of x1 minus x2, quantity squared, plus uh, y1 minus y2, that quantity squared. That's the distance formula. And again, the definition says it's the set of all points that are the same distance r from some given point, the center. So our distance, really what we're referring to here, is the radius length. And our points that we're finding the distance between two are between our x, y and the origin. So x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared, which simplifies to And then we would just square both sides. So this is the equation of a circle centered at the origin. Now, most of the problems that you'll probably be assigned are going to be circles that aren't centered at the origin. Uh, in fact, are centered someplace else. And so for that, I've given it the variables h, comma, k. Now, h and k would be somewhat consistent to probably what you've seen in your class. Um, when you learned about parabolas and writing the equations of parabolas. Uh, so we're going to use sort of a similar notation for that, for our center. Okay, so again, the distance that we're referring to is r, and the points that we're finding the distance between are x comma y and h comma k. So the distance r is equal to x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared. Square both sides. Okay. And this is the equation for a circle centered at the point h comma k with a radius of r. So what we have with these two equations, when we look at them, we should be able to find what the radius of the given circle is and what the center of the given circle is. And that's what I'll show you in the next video, how to look at these equations and find the center and radius.